guys, it's Felicia. Formally figure it out with Felicia, but in case you haven't noticed, we've done another brand change to Happily Ever After Living. So if you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, I know, I know, another name change, but listen, I think this is it. I think this may be the one. Anyways, in today's video, I wanted to share with you guys how I've managed to lose my first 20 of 100 pounds. Yes, here we go again. I didn't share earlier. I waited until 20 pounds because I wanted to be sure that I was actually going to stick with this. So let's just jump straight to it. I hate when people ramble for a long time and don't give me the tips. So number one was I changed my mindset around weight loss. Like I've just come to terms with this is not a get, like you're just not gonna drop it super fast. Some people may, but for me, I want this to be something that I'm able to sustain for a lifetime. So I am willing to give myself the time that is needed to lose the weight. Um, also, I accepted the fact that the answer, okay. So as I was saying, also I have realized that the answer truly lies in me. I mean, there is no trainer, there is no, like, dude, I gotta do this myself. I gotta do it and I'm going to. Um, number two, I stopped eating flour and sugar. Um, I came across a book by Dr. Susan Pierce Thompson and where she talked about how sugar and flour act like, um, like drugs in the brain and they're highly addictive and how they cause people to binge. So I just totally stopped eating both shop, um, sugar and flour. Um, number three is I aim to get in 10,000 steps per day minimum. I have a very sedentary job, even though I'm a physical therapist. I work other people out. I'm basically driving in the car from patient to patient. So I do a lot of sitting, and even when I do my exercises with my patients, it's not like exercise for myself. So I aim to get at least 10,000 steps a day. And it helps considering that we adopted a puppy during quarantine. So I have a um, 18 month old lab mix i'll actually i'll put some video in here so you guys can meet ramsey our new puppy um so yeah 10 10 000 steps for me is about four miles and i aim to do that at least five days a week but preferably every day um number four is i increased my water intake like i'm almost done here I can't tell you how much water I drink like I wish I can give you a fancy number but basically drink your freaking water like there's it don't just drink when you're thirsty like every time you walk through the kitchen or if you're um working and you're in between like just just drink the water drink the water it's good for you um number five is I limit my carbs however I do eat fruit twice a day and I also eat at least a pound of vegetables um, per day as well, both cooked and raw. And I allow myself, like in the book that, um, Bright Line Eating was the name of it, but in the book, which she, like with her program, you can have a grain at breakfast. So that's kind of like what I do. I, I would love to, to like say I follow her plan, but I just kind of use it as a blueprint and it, it's helped. So I do four ounces of, whether it be like potatoes or oatmeal or whatever in the morning. So limit carbs to breakfast. Um, and then number six, which is actually the last tip that I have for you, is that I prioritize my sleep and rest more than I ever have. Um, as you guys know, I've been working on trying to normalize and like stabilize my hormones and stress, you know, with cortisol hormones and all of that just just no good so i've been trying to do things like go to bed on time so that i'm at least getting seven hours is good for me eight hours will be idea i shoot for eight hours on the weekend um also i do things to create rest i actually schedule rest into my week now i will go to the beach or i'll get a massage or i'll just do things i'll say no i'll silence my phone you know, I'll just do things to allow myself to rest. So that's basically it. I will put in my weights. Um, actually, let's see. 
So on May 24th, I weighed 260 pounds. On May 31st, I was 252 pounds, 252.6 pounds. On June 7th, I was 251.4. June 14th, 249.8. June 21st, 248.6. June 28th, 247.4. July 5th, 245.6. July 12th, 243.6. July 19th, 242.8. And July 6th, July 26th, 241.0. And today's August 1st, so I weigh in every Monday. That was another little hack I did too because Previously, I would weigh in like on a Friday and then I would just do whatever I wanted on the weekend and try to make up for it. I know that's so crazy, but um, yeah, so I weigh in tomorrow and I'm pretty sure. So if you do the math, like that's only 19 pounds, right? But I'm pretty sure that I've already hit um, that 20 pound mark. So um, I wish that I would have taken like more before pictures, but I do have a pretty cool picture I'll share with you guys. I'll share with you. Like there's this picture where I wanna say like two weeks into my journey, I tried on these jeans. I just wanted to know, like they've been in my closet forever. So I wanted to know what they look like, right? And then last week I tried the jeans on and like they fit. <laughs> So crazy I was like oh my gosh now granted I'm not wearing them out of the house yet because I still got more work to do but they fit like I was able to pull them up and zip them which is something that I was not able to do before so that's pretty incredible so I'm really excited um, if you have not subscribed I would love it if you would join my journey here um, this is something that I'm truly doing for my health and to be honest with you guys I know the science behind all of this stuff I just gotta practice what I preach, honestly. Like, it is what it is. So, I'm really excited. I'm hoping to be able to develop an amazing coaching business. I'm just gonna say it. You know, I'm working on some digital products. Like, I, I'm just really, really excited. You know, with our geriatric care management business, COVID hit in 2020. We launched, we literally launched February 14th, 2020. And then one month later, COVID hit and that completely changed like everything about our business you know we don't have access to the hospitals or to assisted living facilities the way that we you know thought we would once we structured it the way that we did when we first structured it like we were just allowed in and out so we don't have that anymore so um like every other business during the pandemic if you want to survive you've got to pivot and that's what we're, that's what we're doing i'm really excited to be sharing this journey with you guys that have a little bit more time and space in my life right now my daughter recently graduated so yeah i love to keep you guys posted and updated but please share with me some videos that you would like to see because that really helps out a lot and also in the next video i'll show you my quick simple um food haul and meal planning just to kind of give you an idea of what i've been doing all right i hope this video helps and i really appreciate you for stopping by please like subscribe and share oh also follow me on instagram it's easier for me to share there and i'm there in stories almost every day now so happily ever after living underscore on instagram and i also put a link in the bottom in the what is that called description box it's been a minute all right talk to you later bye